96.3 FM, The Source. Auto repair with personal care. We know what we're talking about. Matt Gibbs and the guys over at Sunrise Automotive will treat you right. We'll treat you right. So the good news is the more you do business with somebody, the more likely it is they'll know you. And uh, the bad news is that it might be the tow truck driver. <laughs> 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 Matt Gibbs is here to talk about your cars and your trucks and your engines and your transmissions and and uh, so the car I'm referring to is Robin's car. So it's uh, we we had to call the tow truck again. It's one of those never-ending stories, you know, Matt. Yep. So uh, how you doing? I'm doing okay. How did you have a, a weekend? Did you give yourself a break this this weekend? Yeah, yeah. I did. You got to do that, right? Every once in a while. Oh my gosh, more than every once in a while. Okay. Right? You know well, what they, I think that's what retirement's for, right? Yeah, but they, you know what they say at the end of your life? You're not laying in bed wishing you had worked on more cars. Yeah, that's for sure. You know, <laughs> or whatever it is you did. I'm, I'm going to say, I, I wish I did more interviews. <laughs> I just, you know, I wish I could have talked to more people. We could arrange that, Larry. <laughs> oh, we are arranging it. <laughs> <laughs> It's happening as we speak. I'm sure that's what Robin's doing in there. Yeah, so Robin's car uh, wouldn't start again. And I know you don't know anything about it yet, right? Because no, it's I still don't, too early in the yeah, day. It's yeah. still, I yeah. haven't. But anyway, but it's nice to know that there's a place to tell the tow truck to bring it to. Other than, would you please just throw it in the ocean? We're just, <laughs> we're just done with it, right? Yeah. And all the tow truck drivers know where I'm at, too. They all know you, yeah. it seems like, and yeah, they, they all do. know where you're at, yeah, they and they do. all know where the key drop hole is, because <laughs> whenever Robin starts to tell them, don't worry, I know I know where it is. Yeah, yeah they know. They know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, has that always been the way it's been done? I, I don't remember that when I was a kid, my dad leaving the car overnight and putting a key in the hole. I don't remember that. Uh, I don't, maybe I don't, it just maybe I just didn't pay attention, huh? Maybe. maybe. I mean, I, back when I was working at the dealer, we didn't have a drop box. We didn't have one. So what did people do? I don't know. Just left the car and left it under the, yeah, the was, floor mat? Yeah, I, or just, I, I don't really know what they did. <laughs> I don't remember. It's been so long ago. I was such a young person. <laughs> I didn't pay no attention to I didn't pay attention to those details. Do you know, and, and, uh, and, and we were talking about how sometimes we make wrong presumptions, especially if you're not in that field. So if we're trying to analyze without knowing what we're looking at or listening to, we come up with wrong conclusions. Like, for example, it must be the public's parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> or it must be the rain, because it, all, all, every time it's happened, it's been rain. So I don't know. Huh. I'm, and I'm not telling you I'm guessing because I'm not. I'm just saying that it's it's can't be can't be rain. I mean everybody drives in the rain. Oh, <laughs> oh am I making you think of something? I'm always <laughs> thinking of something. Always. Do you know what I, I don't hear anymore? Holes in mufflers. Is, did they f make mufflers stronger nowadays? It seems like when I was a kid, holes in mufflers was commonplace. You used to go to the well, but but you got to remember when you was a kid, you lived up north, right? No. No, you lived well, here. Well, I mean, I was up there a lot, but I was oh, I back and forth between. You were back the, and forth. Yeah. You mean to tell me it's the area that does it? I think a lot of times it is. Yeah. I think a lot of the rusty cars. But that, do you remember muffler tape? Oh yeah. You oh, just yeah. went under the car and yeah. stuck it on there, yeah. and it seemed to work. Yeah, it seemed to work for a minute. <laughs> no, more than a minute. You had to put a lot on it. I often wonder what happened. What the guy thought who bought some of my old cars. Because I had pieces held together with uh, guitar string. Guitar, see, I used hangers, clothes hangers. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, guitar string is much easier. Yeah, I could see that. It's easier to just. That would be like the big D string. The, the big, yeah, the big, the big E string. The yeah. E string. Yeah. The big E the string. The six string. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, do you play bass too? No. In, in addition to drums, okay. Because no. now the bass string. Now no, that hey, hold that, that can hold up a car right there. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, of course, it's a, it's a nylon string. Then it'll just melt right off. Yeah. Right? It won't work. So, so anyway, how was your um, Memorial Day weekend? It was uh, uneventful. Are you, are you a veteran? No, I'm not a okay. veteran. And, I, I tried to join, but they wouldn't take me. How come? My, my uh, health issues that I had when oh. I was a kid. Okay, okay. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, it was a kind of a peaceful weekend here. We... Uh, 
Uh, Rob and I were here yesterday and uh, played some sound bites from people remembering other people who had served. So, yeah, it's just kind of touching. That's cool. And and it made I th- I think the people who called in were probably driving, so I make a connection to cars. That's that's the that's the connection between radio and what you do is most people listen to this in their car. Yes, I think so. Yes, I I totally agree. I listen to the radio when I'm in my car, so that's the only time I listen to the radio. Yeah. Well, right. no, I do have a radio at the house, actually. I, I, I have a radio at the house, but, but you I don't, I don't think I'd ever turned it on. Yeah, yeah. I think that's true for most people. Do you, do you, do you have, like, uh, a remote control for your radio in your car? Yeah. See, I have Bluetooth. Uh, see, Bluetooth. this I don't understand. I mean, it's, it's right in front of you. It's a, the little switch. I, I, don't, I don't ever use a remote control oh. for my see, radio. See, my son has remote control on his radio, and, and it's in the console. You have right. to reach down right, to the yeah, console. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you know, it's just like eight inches, I think, between the two things. But I do. I have a lot of music on my phone that I listen to too. Oh, so you just push the button and it goes I go through all my auxiliary and well, actually, I have a Bluetooth, so I just turn on my phone and listen to my music. Hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah. So, 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 Robin's car broke down, and um, I'm going to guess, but um, you know me, so okay. this is just me trying to do radio okay uh i'm guessing it's the ignition do you think it's possible it's possible yeah is but it, it's not it's, is that usually an expensive thing well you're but when you say ignition uh, there's so many things that okay and that's what i thought i thought there was a lot to that i so. think it's more i think it'll be more battery related really yeah it's a brand new battery it doesn't matter really yeah it's gonna be a power distribution. Do you know if anybody tried to start it yet? Not, no. Well, I don't know. They could, may because have. I, is, I was out looking at it, some cars this morning before I came here. Oh, good, because she's probably going to want to buy one. <laughs> she's tired of this one. But but see, that's the that's the thing. Uh, that's what I was going to say about. No, I lost my, what I was going to say. But you said the battery, and I was thinking if you don't know what you're looking at, you know, you don't you don't know. I mean, I know what I'm looking at, but I gotta be looking well, at do. something. You do. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, we didn't know if you could diagnose it if it was working. If it's an intermittent thing that sometimes it doesn't work, we were happy it wasn't working because we thought, okay, now right. you have it when it right. isn't working. Right. That, and that's we have that issue all the time. I mean, it's just crazy. In order for us to find a problem, there needs to be a problem. People don't understand that. They're, they're like, every once in a while, my car does this. But it's not doing it now. <laughs> what's wrong with it? Well, I don't know. I have to have it do it to find out what's what's going on. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, it's, it's, you have to. You, it, there's just no ands, ifs, or buts. And it's amazing how, like, I've noticed on my own cars driving, like, I get this issue. The, the, the left rear door lock doesn't work sometimes. Then all of a sudden, it starts working. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and when it doesn't work, I don't take the time to find out why it's not working because it's my door lock. You know, it's not so, it's not your door lock; it's mine. So, so you know what I'm saying. But why does all of a sudden does it start working? Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah, understand. Yeah, 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 I had to change the, the battery in my key fob, and I thought I put it in backwards. I thought so. Now when I hit the lock button, it'll unlock. No, no, no. It doesn't work that no, way. It doesn't no. work that way. <laughs> it won't work at all if you put the battery in wrong. <laughs> Do you, do, you, do you remember um, when you were a kid and you had a remote control car, a battery operated uh-huh. car? Yeah, yeah. If you put the batteries in the wrong way, it went the wrong way? It went the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's not true. That's not true. Put this, this. You put the battery in the wrong way in, the, in a car, in, the starter's not going to go backwards. No. <laughs> you put the battery in the wrong way in a car, and all kinds of smoke's going to start <laughs> happening. <laughs> that's too funny. Do you know, I, I don't really like the way uh, that, that I. Ju- <laughs> My battery is set up so weird that when I'm trying to jump her car, Robin's car, I, I'm not even sure that I'm connected. What What is the best way to check to make sure you're connected right? Can you just put the two together if you get a spark? Or is that going to hurt? Yeah, you can do that, but yeah, I don't do strongly that. suggest don't doing that. All right, so that. what is the best way to know that you got a good connection? Well, if it's a battery issue... Typically, like if you turn on your headlights, don't, they might come on, but they should be like real dim or something. Yeah, hers are bright. So, so if they're bright, they're, I mean, then more than likely, when hooking up to cables isn't going to do anything if they're bright. Okay. Oh, uh, why? 
because we're that's not where the problem lies. Oh, okay. So so if if you turn on the headlights and they're dim, and then you hook up to battery cables and now they get brighter, then you know you pretty much have a good mm. connection. Okay. Um, but if they're nice and bright and everything, then I would venture to say that our problem really may not be a battery. <sighs> See, I, it's 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 pointless for me to even try to guess what it is. Exactly, you gotta you gotta check it. I have I have a thought. This is we're coming up on June. Okay. Coming up on travel travel time. Do you have any uh, suggestions for people thinking about making a road trip? I, well, you know, it's, it's at sunrise. If you want to do a road trip, we have a we have a actual road check. We have a uh, you know a, a system in pro in place to where mm-hmm. we can change your oil or not change your oil. Um, you may be due, may not be due for an oil change, but we have a trip check. Well, we'll actually go in and belt check your really? belts, the hoses, all your fluids. I should do this. You should, everybody should have. Even if I'm not going on a road trip. No, it's it's good to do it even if you're not going on a road trip. Um, we check your brakes, pull the wheels off, look at your brakes, and and if you if you did it with an oil change, it's sixty dollars. It's fifty nine ninety five with an oil change. We check everything over, look at your belts, your hoses, your air filters, your mm-hmm, fluid, mm-hmm. all your fluids. Give it a good little once over before you head out on that trip. Make sure the tread is good. Yeah. On make, the tires? Yeah, make check the tires and check the brakes and check you we just kinda just check everything. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um and so and is there a price? Oh she said sixty dollars. Sixty dollars, fifty nine ninety five with an oil change. It's 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 uh, thirty nine ninety five without an oil change. Okay, and, and t- talk a little bit about the uh, s- considering you, when you were trying to jumpstart a car, you had a box for a while. You were selling. You don't sell them anymore. right? I don't sell that. Uh, you can those boxes become really really popular. The boxes that we were selling, uh, they they couldn't compete with you know some of the the bigger parts houses. You can buy them at any any auto parts place now. They're readily available. Oh, they're everywhere. I, I just tr- try to strongly suggest don't get the one that has the USB ports and all the cell because of people are using them to keep their cell phones charged and stuff like that. And then when you need to jump off your battery, it won't do it because ah, you, you've drained it. You drained it. So, yeah, yeah. so get one that's designated for jumping off a car. You know, and and make sure that you read the directions. I've had mine for years. People have bought them from me and they call me up and say this thing it, it just quit working it doesn't work anymore and, and and when i start talking to them most of the time they jumped off the car and let it sit on the battery thinking that they were going to help charge up the battery it doesn't as soon as that engine starts and that alternator starts charging it will kill those boxes because they they charge at such a low rate um Okay. As soon as, as soon as you start them up, well, take that's them good off. to know. That's good to know. And is uh, do they normally have some kind of a gauge or a light or something yeah. so you know they're filled? Right. They're, they're they're tra- there's like a little. Usually there's a little button you push it, and a lot of it be red, yellow, or green. Oh, okay. Okay. So so you know there there are some indicators. And what do you actually ask for? What do you call that? Just thing? a jump, a, a little jump station. Jump you know? station. Okay. Yeah. And you want the one with nanotechnology. It's 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 the ones that we were selling were nanotechnology. Jump station with nano. With Nano. Okay, all right. You do have a, a phone call. Let me uh, push this and say good morning. You're on the air with Matt. Hi, uh, good morning, Matt. This is Sonny. I'm calling about these uh, jump start things. Uh, I had a problem about a month ago, uh, and uh, the car charged up and everything. When uh, if, if you have a charger, everything looked good. Uh, the battery road, you know, the lights, everything worked, but uh, for some reason, I go for a ride, or uh, down to the post office, which is a ride, and uh, go to start it back up, it wouldn't start, and yet everything else seemed to be working. So anyhow, uh, uh, I got, the, I have one of these boxes, and I had two. The one that you plug into the cigarette lighter and you got to wait 15 minutes or whatever. That's 15 minutes seems like a day. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the one that I have now, it has two little cables that actually hook up to the battery. And uh, you have it all hooked up. It'll even tell you if you accidentally hook it up the wrong way. And you get your green light and jump in your car and start it up. And it worked for me. Uh, on this one car before I could get it to uh, get a new battery in there I wound up using it three times and it uh, held the charge enough to start the car for three consecutive 
you know, times so I got was able to get the battery taken care of. And it definitely was the battery. But anyway, the uh, uh, with these new cars today, it's unbelievable. But if you're buying one of these boxes, make sure you, if you get the box where you can plug in your jumper, it comes with a little jumper cable system, and you put the box right near the battery, and then you put your clip on to the battery post, and you should be good to go. But uh, that's my only suggestion with that. I don't know if you want me to give you the name or something, but uh, the, I've been very happy with the one I got now, and they've actually had it over a year. And it does have an outlet and then a wire where you can recharge the battery that's in the uh, jumper box. So, you know, that might be something that people don't think about. You know, you should do it at least once a year. But anyhow, that's uh, my experiences with some of these uh, boxes. And uh, you can actually get them almost anywhere now. Well, I'll hang up now and have a great uh, day, everybody. And thank you for your programming, WOCA. And thank you, Matt, for being here. Thank you, Sonny. Have a good one. Thank you, too. Thank you, Sonny. Yeah. Yeah, it's that time of year when you're thinking about a road trip. You like to have those extra safeguards just in case, right? Yeah, absolutely. You ever go camping? Are you a camping guy? Well, we're we're uh, um, ah, camping. Am I a camping guy? <laughs> we have a camper, so I don't know. If Do you use some people? Some people would say that's not camping. Oh, oh, you have a, a, a motor home. Well, it's not. No, we have a travel trailer. Travel trailer. Okay. And we're fixing to leave Thursday to... And that means you pull it behind something. Yeah. Right? Okay. You don't drive it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and so that sounds nice, actually. I would love to have one of them. So where are you going? Uh, I'm going to... We're going to take a little road trip up to Tennessee and see our... We, we have some family up in Tennessee. Nice. Do you so, bring your... Um, don't you have a jet ski? Well, it's kind of hard to bring boats and jet skis and campers all you can't tow it all so <laughs> <laughs> i see people towing them I, you see people having a trailer and something else behind it too yeah no we're just going to go up there and and uh visit with some visit with some family well that sounds nice yeah you need to do that like i say at the end of your life you're not going to say i wish i had more cars to work on yeah that's for sure yeah so, well. so that's gonna be fun what part of t- uh, tennessee is it up around um up around Nashville, not too far from oh, Nashville, okay. called Hartsville. Do you ever sit in as a drummer? Do you ever sit in with a, a, like a Nashville band or something? No, I don't. the only time I've ever sat in with anybody was with, with Willie Nelson. I sat in with Willie Nelson. You did? Wow. Yeah. And it's, and, this and, is an unknown fact about you. Yeah. What yeah. was that like? It was, it was cool. I mean, we were... Where, in, where, where was this? Our, where, where I grew up, my next door neighbor, him and his wife were really big into music. It just so happens that uh, my, my next door neighbor's brother was Willie Nelson's guitar player. Wow! And, uh, wow! And yeah, it was a. Uh, I woke up one Saturday morning to hearing a bunch of music going on, and yeah. there he was. His whole trailer and his everything was right there next door. And wow! They were, they were all just sitting out in the front yard, just having a good time. Wow! Did a crowd for him? No, nah, I mean just some of the people in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it was. Uh, and uh, they there was a concert going on with Willie Whelan and Hank Jr. down in Tampa, and we all got to go backstage. And we had backstage passes, and that is such that a was, cool story. Cool. Did, did you play? When you say you sat in with him, was it on the lawn or? Yeah, it was yeah. on the lawn. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it wasn't like in no stadium or nothing. It was just it was just us. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Did you have a fleeting moment where you thought, "I wonder"? I feel well. Too- I was aggravated because I wasn't feeling the best when I. That Saturday morning when I first woke up, uh-huh. and it's like, man, who's blasting this Willie Nelson music? <laughs> you know, at nine o'clock on Saturday morning. Oh, and that then, is such a cool story. And then you go, you would look out the window, and then there they all are sitting in your neighbor's front yard. And you knew before that he was uh, the guitar player. I for- knew that he had played guitar for Willie Nelson. I didn't know he was actually his you know, all the time part of the band. Um, it's amazing when you when you ask people questions, what you find out about them. I had no idea. You never would have shared that if I if that somehow that question came out. Well, you know, it's funny because my next door neighbor, I there was a, a young there was a, a guy I went to school with and he was a very talented pianist and 
played keyboards and i guess back then the keyboard was just now really coming back in the early 80s you know? yeah 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 and uh and but the, he used to go over there and my neighbor used to teach him taught him a lot you know and, really yeah wow and he would about reading music and so what else do i do i not know about you have you ever skydived no but that that's on the bucket list it is yeah yeah might be the last thing on the yeah, bucket. That, that could be. You don't want to do that. Uh, Joey and Kristen, my youngest daughter, they um, they we got them scheduled to skydive this summer. So he, he, he wheelchair bound mm-hmm. and he skydived. Yeah. Oh my he gosh. He zip lined once. That was pretty cool. He what? Zip lined. My son went skydiving. I was so nervous. So um, did you did you know that um, the sister of the the girl who married the prince what's her name now? Markle, Mac, Mark, uh, Megan Markle. Megan. Okay. Did you know she has a sister in Ocala? Oh no. Yeah, and I, and I think she's in a wheelchair. Does, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think she is. Huh. Yeah, and she uh, she lives here very. Uh, it seems like a, a normal, modest home, and uh, she had to ask the sheriff's office if they could kind of keep the paparazzi out of her yard so real nice looking lady huh yeah and she's in a wheelchair i think so uh yeah i looked at the star banner photo and it, it seemed to imply that the reason she didn't go over there for the wedding was because of the wheelchair huh. which i know you've told me i know joey goes everywhere with he his goes wheelchair, everywhere. so yeah. i don't i don't know but maybe it just would have been difficult in windsor castle or wherever it is they go that could now that could be okay what else do i not know about you there's probably lots of stuff you don't know about me, but uh, there's probably lots of stuff I don't know about you. Have you ever driven a semi? Yes. You have? Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is... I didn't drive a semi with a load. I drove a semi, just a truck. Where, how far? Oh, down down the road. You I, did? Yeah, I had to drive I'd a, be so scared. Why? Because it's gigantic. It doesn't matter. I drove a big fire truck. That was fun. That was, dri- that was funner driving the what, fire truck. I mean, actually on the road. Uh-huh. Yep. Have you ever... Um, <laughs> Have you ever gone to New York over the Verrazano Narrows Bridge by chance? The, the New York to what the bridge? Yeah, it's it's one of those bridges. Okay, it doesn't really matter that it's New York. I'm just trying to tell you a story. You, the, there's a bridge, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, and it's used by the fire department to train the firefighters what to do when you're approaching a toll booth. Okay, so they're told this. A firefighter told me this. They go to the top of the bridge. They go from one side. They they cross the bridge. In other words, at the top of the bridge, they put on their sirens and and everything with the lights. And now the people in the toll booth know they're coming, and they've got to clear it out, clear it out, because these guys are going to come barreling through. You can't have any cars in the way. And I I thought that's got to be the scariest thing. That you just got to keep going and hope that they get everything out of the way. Huh? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I didn't get to do that when I drove the fire Where, truck. So did you drive it to a fire? No, I drove it around town. Oh, just because you were fixing it? Well, yeah, we had a, it was on its way to Saudi Arabia, and it and the engine blew up, and we had to put a new engine in it. Wow! So me and two guys, we because it, it was catching a boat, so so me and two guys, we stayed all <laughs> night long and got it. That's a cool story. And too. got it ready to get, to to get on the boat to go back to Saudi Arabia or go to Saudi Arabia. That's awesome. Was it made at E1? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you have something you want to read? No, I'm just Oh, you're just looking at paper? Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm going to fish for things I don't know about you. Um Let's see. Have you ever been in the space shuttle? No. 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 Have, <laughs> have you ever been to the space shuttle? I have I've seen the space shuttle on the launch pad. I actually seen I got I was close enough to see it. Well, that's pretty cool. And we were supposed to go off that day, but it, it didn't go off because of the weather. Uh, have you ever gone scuba diving? Yes. You do? Are you, are I you have gone scuba licensed diving. Licensed or whatever? No, I'm not. No? no. Uh-uh. Um, what else can I ask you? Have you ever been to a, a, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a movie. Not a movie. Have you ever been to like a movie premiere? No. No. Like with, with the red carpet? And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. I've never done that. Yeah. I'm, trying, I'm just trying to think of things. I'm pulling things out of my head. I don't have a hat. Um, this is really not about cars, you know. Have you ever um, eaten a peanut butter and Spam sandwich? No. 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 I, when it comes to... When it, when it, don't even ask. Go, don't even go food. 
because man, I no, you don't. You're not bold with food. No, uh, no, you like no. to stick to the tried and true. Yeah, just just that. Did you know yesterday was Hamburger Day, National Hamburger? I, day? And I did have a hamburger. I, <laughs> I, will, I will assure you of that. It's like when we go to a restaurant. I don't even need to see the menu. Ask me any restaurant, and I'll tell you what I get there. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever made your own ketchup? No. See, I haven't either. <laughs> but we had a recipe yesterday for how to make your own ketchup. Now, my my mother in law. I, she, we, we were, we were having some fried short shrimp, and she made her own cocktail sauce. <laughs> and was it hard to do? Uh, no, I, well, for her, it, it wasn't. doesn't count if somebody else did it. Oh no, I, I can't do those. You things. haven't done it. No. All right, we have a phone call. I have no idea what kind of well, question. Well, yeah, we... what kind of question can this possibly be? <laughs> Unless it's sunny. Good morning. Well, hopefully, it won't be a weird one. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. Um, my question. Good morning. My question is, does it do any damage to the car if you leave the car running? I like to take my dog with me places. Oh, Leaving the car that is turned a good on. And yeah. No, it's it, it, it's fine as long, you know, um, <laughs> the dog doesn't my put dad, it in drive. My dad had a bad, bad habit. He would like come home from work and he'd forget to shut the car off. And he'd come in from what? after work and I'd get up to go to school and I'm like, his car's out in the yard running. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> ran all night long. Or he'd go to church and he'd get out of the car and leave the car running oh my while gosh. we're all in church. So wow. it really doesn't hurt anything as long as you don't have any kind of cooling system issues. You know, you want to make sure that. You know that it it's not going to overheat, and uh, and because sometimes you'll actually have an issue with it idling, and you won't may not have that issue driving down the road. So, so um, you know, but a lot of the newer cars have like electric fans and whatnot in there, which are a lot better. They come on and off automatically. Um, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. You can yeah, leave keep pooch nice and cool when it's hot outside. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, thank you. Thank You're you welcome. for bringing us back to the topic. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> I, I was going all over the map. All right, uh, well, you enjoy your your day. When are you when are you leaving on your trip? Uh, th- Thursday morning. All right. Um, wish your music is your music. Well, drive carefully. Um, you going to post pictures on Facebook? So Probably I can, not. So I can live vicariously through you. Okay, I might. I might do yeah, that. Yeah, let me see what it okay. looks like. I all just right. I just want to know what it's like to actually do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna have a Larry. This is what it feels like <laughs> to, to travel. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a little thing for Larry this week. Uh, thank you, Matt. We'll thank be, you, Larry. We'll be right back. <laughs> Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development.